You did him dirty, WB. You did him dirty. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. Is the Cyborg movie still going to happen? <sighs> Who knows, man. Um, I just wanted to touch base with this because I know people are still wanting this film. And, and it's, it sucks because, I mean, who knows what the hell is going on? Who knows? I mean, we once heard that they wanted to do a Cyborg film. But the, thing, the, the fact of the matter is, is uh, Zack Snyder and crew and Terrio and everything... They pretty much had his origin story, you know, in Justice League, and that got, got ripped up to shit, pretty much. Just totally ripped up. Uh, barely saw anything of it, and, uh, and there's so much footage of his that got ripped up. And now it's just like, what next? And Ray Fisher, just so optimistic, such a big smile on his face, loving every minute of it. And it's like, this guy might not even be able to play Cyborg again, because we haven't heard anything for a long time. And like I said, the thing got ripped to shreds. Um, we got all this other stuff that is lined up and nothing. I mean, there was a 2020 release date at one point for Cyborg, but I mean, that's not going to happen. They are going to have Cyborg apparently on the Doom Patrol TV series because there was actually an audition. There's a Doom Patrol audition tape featuring Cyborg. And I don't think that's going to be Ray Fisher. So yeah, I just don't know. Maybe, maybe they could salvage him and put him maybe in the Flash movie. That would be cool. Because the dynamic of those two uh, are going to be pretty fantastic. Ezra Miller and Ray Fisher work well together. That should be there. I'm not saying that Cyborg has to be there the whole time. But I'm just saying it would be nice to see a little crossover. To see Ray Fisher take up the role again. Come on! They fucked him. They really fucked him when it came to when it came to Justice League. And totally cheesed up his... I mean, they even changed. They even retconned his fucking... Uh, the way that he sees form from what happened in BVS on the on the video to what they actually kind of showed. He, they, it frustrated me. It really frustrated me because I was actually curious. And I thought, like, I really thought that the video of Cyborg being created was the, was creepy. It was haunting. Like, the other ones were fine. Yes, that yeah, little introduction. We see Barry do his thing. Hey, look, at, there's Arthur and everything. But when it came to seeing, like, him on the wall in, like, just, just a torso pretty much... And then all of a sudden the mother box gets activated and starts creating him. He's yelling out and writhing in pain. Just totally fascinating me. Totally haunting. And uh, now we're probably not even going to see any of that. Isn't that awesome? Isn't it? Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below. What do you think? Do you think they're still going to move forward? Think Ray Fisher is going to end up uh, putting on that mocap suit once again? Who knows? Let me know what you think, guys. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel. Visit filmjunkie.com. For all my content, and of course, visit the closet for shirts and stickers. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later.